Hey, everybody. This is uh, Mark McDonald, Senior Product Marketing Manager here at eCentire, and I'm with Curtis. Hey, everyone. I'm uh, the Director of Product Management for Endpoint Security and Microsoft Security. And today we're going to be talking to you about what we're doing with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint from a managed detection and response services standpoint. So I think this quote does a good job of summarizing our overall philosophy as an MDR provider and the kinds of security outcomes that we ultimately deliver to our 800 plus customers globally. Very brief background on eCentire as a company. We've been in business since 2001. About 10 years ago, we started delivering and defining services that are now under the managed detection and response category. Our focus is accomplishing this on behalf of our, our customers, at MDR, as an extension of their team. So hunting, detecting, and most importantly, responding to active threats on their behalf, shrinking dwell time, and minimizing business impact as much as possible. Right now, we've announced that we're accomplishing this with Microsoft Defender Endpoint, and uh, a demo is going to be included of what it looks like from an analyst's perspective a little bit later. So, of course, it's a great thing that security analyst tools and enabling technologies like Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and the, the rest of the Microsoft 365 Defender suite of tools are becoming more accessible, more cost effective, more deeply integrated with critical aspects of today's modern enterprise environment. Technology is improving without question, but still a lot of operational and human challenges to security remain, which is what you see up here. These are all hindrances to counter threat speed and agility at an organizational level. So for instance, we know that last year it took an average of 280 days to identify and contain a breach according to IBM's annual cost of a data breach report. And we know from various reporting that threat actors tend to achieve their objectives in minutes or hours. And then that's obviously a big gap. So how do you close that gap? A real challenge for any organization, but especially those in the vast mid-market. Organizations who have the same level of risk exposure as a Fortune 500 company or a nation state, but they lack the resources to run an effective end-to-end -end threat detection response operation. And that's why uh, eCentire is in business. So this is the gap that we're looking to shrink with Microsoft Defender Endpoint and our MDR service and platform. So leveraging the signals that come from Microsoft 365 Defender in the context of this presentation endpoint specifically, our platform enriches, normalizes, uh, ingests data so that uh, on the other end, our security experts can conduct investigations and contain threats and constantly apply lessons learned so that the customer can improve their overall security posture. And I'm gonna hand it over to Curtis now to give a, a, a deeper technical overview of how this all works. So this is a more detailed look at how our MDR operation all works end to end. So starting from the left, we take network, endpoint, log, and cloud signals from all of our customers' environments, and then we consume them and then layer on top you know, relevant processes, technologies, and detection capabilities. What's unique about what we do with Microsoft is that we are, you know, directly connecting into the Security Graph API, and that allows us to consume events in a very fast manner, enrich them, investigate them, and then be able to respond actively at the speed of the API. So once the signals are consumed into Atlas, they are then normalized, enriched, and everything surrounding, you know, providing the analyst with the most important information as possible. It's then passed off to a triage, and then the right analyst is assigned based on skill set and familiar ability with a specific technology. Supporting our SOC is the Threat Response Unit, which is our dedicated counter threat research and development team which is always looking for ways to improve on the specific products and technologies that eCentire selects 
to deliver the managed detection and response that you can count on. With the tactical response unit, uh, we focus on MITRE attack mappings, utilizing threat intelligence to further enrich the, the products, and also using the data that we collect from these different teams for threat hunting across all signals. Additionally, through the Advanced Threat Analytics team, uh, we create machine learning algorithms and pipelines, which enable us to take telemetry and provide advanced detections outside of the core product capabilities. And every single customer that we have has a dedicated customer service analyst, which works with them to you know, give them status on their deployment, the service, and anything significant that happens um, throughout the life cycle of their service with eCentire. So moving on to the different ways that you can architect a Microsoft solution, eCentire is really focused on, you know, protecting our customers. So when we went to deliver, you know, a managed detection and response service around Microsoft, we wanted to make sure that we were limiting the accessibility and potential exposure to our customers as we deliver this type of service. eCentire utilizes delegated access so that you know we're creating a trust between organizations and the customer ultimately holds keys to who can be within their environment the process works through you know the customer administrator adding us into you know an ad group associated with an access package eCentire analyst will go in and request access into that access package and then in the diagram here you can see eCentire will designate an MSSP approver. And then through that process, we have the ability to onboard all other analysts that are required for responding to threats in a customer's environment. And then moving on to kind of what that looks like at a higher level, the analyst user accounts are authenticated against the MSSP Active Directory tenant. The tenant then responds with a bearer authentication token that the analyst browser then provides to the customer's Microsoft Defender Security Center. And the customer validates the token and provides access as defined. And that means that the credentials remain within the MSSP tenant, but with that token, they have the ability to authenticate into the customer's subtenant. Now, what's really interesting about this is that this allows eCentire obviously to control who has access into their environment, that powered by MFA, SSO, and then the customer then has the opportunity to control who gets into their environment from the relationship with eCentire. Another really interesting point is that any conditional access policies that the customer has implemented for their Azure Active Directory will get applied to eCentire's analysts. So this provides another layer of greater control on top of what is already implemented um, via the solution. So this right here is a summary of why we're excited to be working with Microsoft Defender. It's going to enable our most efficient MDR offering to date. So what Curtis was speaking about in comparison to some of our other services, this is effectively what we're calling a zero install MDR offering. We can be ingesting a customer's Microsoft Defender signals in minutes without introducing anything new to their environment, which shrinks onboarding time and increases time to value. And this is obviously uh, quite the departure from you know legacy managed security models where you know there's often a requirement to inject either hardware or software into a customer's environment. On terms of efficacy, we're, we're happily taking advantage of the incredible built-in efficacy and integration of the Microsoft 365 Defender suite of tools. But we're also adding our own experiences, our own mature MDR platform and processes to accelerate the positive outcomes that our, our customers are ultimately looking for. And then finally, we're happy to deliver this in a way that drastically reduces cost, total cost of ownership for customers. So because we're leveraging the Microsoft 365 Defender signals and the Microsoft Defender Endpoint specific signals that is included in their Microsoft 365 licensing, 
that obviously introduces a lot more of an, a cost-effective approach. Uh, the fact that those tools are bundled on top of the regular business applications that exist within Microsoft 365 gives the customer a huge opportunity to consolidate and decrease security spend. And then on the flip side, on the uh, MDR side that we uh, we alluded to a few slides ago, is that we're bringing human expertise, mature processes, and uh, and expert guidance for customers in a time, obviously, where human experience is very much at a uh, premium and uh, in a high demand in the job market. So now we're going to pivot over to an end-to-end -end demonstration of what an uh, investigation looks like from a perspective of an eCentaur analyst. So this demo is a recording of walking through and executing a simulation through the simulation lab within the Microsoft Defender endpoint product. So we've decided to use AP29 on this specific one. And when looking at it in the SOC dash, the event comes in immediately and we're able to begin investigating the characteristics of it. So as you can see, MITRE ATT&CK is an important part of characterizing and understanding specific attacks that the SOC is looking at. When multiple events come together as an incident, they are put in the same work item. This makes it easier to analyze and see similarities between the different signal sources that were generated in sequence. So in this specific example, we can see the magnify.exe was being used to bypass or get execution within the environment. From the SOC dash, the analysts have the ability to pivot directly into the telemetry of the Microsoft Defender product. The best way to get a deep dive is by using the raw data and also using the investigation panel that the, the product gives you access to. This gives you, you know, understanding of the, the different timelines. So how something executed, why it executed, and allows you to kind of dig into the raw data that might not be specifically in the initial event that triggered, but are re related and relevant to the investigation and the response to the threat. Also pivoting into the alert side, you can see that it has other relevant alerts associated with it. So every time we do an investigation, we give notes of the investigation, what was seen, why we thought it was malicious, and then every single section in this kind of part, the case disposition, actions, these are all direct API integrations with the Security Graph API and allows our analysts to immediately take action on an identified threat. Just finishing out, you know, we get, try and give as much information as possible as it relates to the detection so that it gives customers visibility and understanding of why, you know, something was determined to be a true positive or false positive. All right. Thank you, Curtis, for the demonstration. Wrapping up here and bringing things full circle to where we started, the speed at which you can hunt and contain and respond to a threat is why we are in business. These are the metrics that our customers expect from our analysts on a 24 by 7 basis. And obviously the ultimate outcomes being that threat actor dwell time is shrunk and the risk of business disruption with it. And we, we do that on behalf of 800 customers globally. Thank you very much for your time today and enjoy the rest of the Ignite virtual conference. And please check out the numerous assets and content that is available at the eCentire Microsoft Ignite virtual booth. Thank you, everybody.